made it. Oh. Yo, what is up, guys? It's your boy Lies, AK Motor Bro, and today we're putting my 50cc in my car. You're probably wondering, like, yo, that ain't gonna fit. But today we're gonna make it fit. As you guys know, I'm going to New York, so I'm traveling with my car up there. So let's see if we can get this damn pit bike inside the SUV. It's gonna be crazy. Let's go. So I already took out the back seats. So as y'all can see, there's literally no back seats in my car right now. I've never seen my car this raw before. All right, gang, um, somehow we gotta fit this motorcycle in this back seat. So let's just do it. Hopefully I don't scratch the SUV. Let's go. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to think like, yo, how do I even pick this up to put it in? Let's go for it. Oh, that was a scratch. Yeah, man, this is going to be so easy. <laughs> and bro, I got to watch out because my fuel pump is literally under my seat. So I do not want to fuck up my fuel pump. <laughs> Come on, bro. We made it. Oh, <laughs> we made it. Whew. Whew. Dripping a little sweat from that one. But we got the 50 inside my Subi. It was a little rough, but we did it. Let's check it out. I mean, bro, tell me that don't fit perfect, bro. It's like this thing was made to carry the pit bike. Beautiful. Let's take a look from the backside. Hopefully we ain't leaking any gas or anything. I really hope we ain't. Let's fucking go. Let's go, dude. Swag glasses on. Let's hop in the Scooby. And um, please talk shit about my steering wheel in the comments because I know I need a new one. I've just been too lazy to buy a new one. So give me shit. So you guys make me buy a new steering wheel. Yeah, this is crazy, dude. We got a freaking pit bike in the back. Listen to that baby roar. Bro, I'm just, <laughs> can y'all see this, bro? I got a goddamn pit bike in my back seat. This is wild. We off, bro, in the Scooby. Got the 50 in the back seat. So we're just gonna see how the 50 handles being in the back seat, like. I wanna see if it wobbles around. I literally don't even have it tied down. It's sort of just hanging on my seat. I can tell you it's definitely smelling like gas in here. So maybe I'll have to empty the gas before I bring it to New York. But bro. Car sounding good. The bike handling good. I'm getting high as shit, smelling all this gas fumes. Yo, I found this song on TikTok, Diplo posted it, and it bangs, so I'm just gonna play it real quick. Yo, so literally, the pit bike is in the back. It, I'm still blown away. If you guys ever thought about doing this, it would literally work. Like, my car is pretty small. I drive a WRX, as you guys probably know, and it really ain't that big, but if you take out the back seats, it gives it that extra little bit of room. I might have not even needed to take out the rear seats, but I was like, you know, I don't want to mess up my seats. So I took them out and it works perfect. Yo, we made it back. Look how freaking clean the Subi's looking. Even though I haven't washed her in like a couple weeks. <laughs> we got the bike in here, bro. That's all that matters, bro. I fit the 50 and the Supermoto on the back. Shout out my little wing. Shout out Zach Ghost for uh, installing that. But check out the trunk, bro. Look how much trunk space we have. And there's the bike. The only thing I'm worried about is my wheel gap because last time I put my Supermoto on and I drove to California, I was scraping or I was rubbing and dubbing like crazy. So I got about two fingers right now, but once I put once I put the Supermoto on, this will go down to like almost on the wheel. We got the Supermoto on the back. And check out how much room we have on these wheels right now. So as you've seen before, I could fit two fingers in there easy. Now I can't even, I can barely fit one finger in this way. Sideways, the other way, I can't even fit it. 
But we do have the supermoto on the back. She is looking pretty, bro. Look at that Volta kit. Yo, shout out Volta again, bro. They really freaking outdid themselves with this graphics kit. It is so pretty. So gang, right now we're on the 50. We took it out of the car and it's time to shred. We're just gonna rip around, enjoy the music. Let's get into it. When I see you in streets, it's like we didn't meet. All I feel is deceased. Let the feelings and sheets No, we don't even gotta speak. Can't give you the closure you seek. Let it all die in a piece. But if you really won't speak, say fuck what it was. I ain't holding no grudge. All I needed was trust. Now I need to adjust. Cause I know it's not in you. Stop, but it continue. I was trying to fix you. So tell me the issue. Looking for somebody else. The person I met, you sounded upset, screaming out threats. You hiding in text, looking no vex. Wish you the best. On to the next, yeah. Finna get rest, yeah. Tired of your mess, yeah. Playing the victim. Knowing the truth, you were the fruit, you were the rule, yeah. Don't get it confused, quick to accuse, nothing to lose, yeah. Still wanna talk, yeah. But I'm still in the dark, yeah. Still in the dark, yeah. When I see you in streets, it's like we didn't meet. All I feel is deceased. Let the feelings and sheets No, We don't even gotta speak. Can't give you the closure you seek. Let it all die in a piece. But if you really won't speak, say fuck what it was. I ain't holding no grudge. All I needed was trust. Now I need to adjust. Cause I know it's not in you. Stop, but it continue. I was trying to fix you. But yeah guys, uh, that sort of brings the end to today's video. Like I said, I'm going to New York June 9th through the 30th. I'm going to be driving, uh, I'm going to be leaving like June 2nd to head out over there. So hit your boy up. We're going to be freaking shredding. Atlanta, hit me up. North Carolina, hit me up. Virginia, hit me up. Philly, hit me up. Pretty much anyone on the East Coast, hit your boy up. If you got any places I can stay at while I'm uh, traveling to New York, hit me up. Peace.